You're watching Telecom TV from 5G World in London and I'm joined now by Robert Schusler, who is Vice President at Brightbox Europe. Robert, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. How is Brightbox involved in the connected car sector? Yeah, our, our company Brightbox, we are already for more than five years on the market, but our history is really in the automotive. So before Brightbox, we did a lot of implementation for car dealerships, apps, uh, ERP system for car dealerships. But five years ago, we realized that the automotive world is changing. Everything goes to apps and to connected cars. And this is why we are now a 100% connected car company. And what's your relationship with Honda? Two years ago, um, we started our cooperation with Honda. And Honda decided, I mean, Honda is one of the technology leading companies in the automotive space. And Honda decided that they want to have their cars connected to offer better services to their customers, like an e-call, like a B-call service. And for that, you need to have your car connected with the internet. And this is why they started to talk with us about how to connect in future with my Honda cars to the internet. And this is what we are doing now. So what actually comprises a connected car platform? So what we actually do is that um, we offer a turnkey connected car platform. Uh, so Honda, uh, they will plug in a little dongle inside of the car in the OBD adapter and there's a SIM card in that dongle. And actually, uh, in future, we also can, we can also offer Wi-Fi hotspot services in the car. And this dongle gets all information from the car. Your driving style, geolocation services. We can read all the sensors in the car. And via the SIM card, we are sending via VPN connection all this data to Microsoft Asia Cloud. And what sort of data processing and analytics work are you performing? I mean, we are working with Microsoft Asia Cloud, which is the most secure and most prominent uh, platform on the market currently. So all the data is stored in Microsoft data centers in Amsterdam and Dublin. And from there, it's a decision of Honda how they process the data. So we can do data analytics, we can do big data management, um, and also um, Honda is, will be able uh, to offer uh, let's say the management of the data to their customers. So customers will, will decide in future who can access their data and maybe they get as a customer also uh, money for it or a better insurance rate or other services when you share your data. So car owners can access some of this data themselves via their smartphones? Uh, yes, so uh, we offer an app and it's called actually My Honda. You can download it in the App Store. And uh, with that app, you, you see a lot of information of your car on your phone. You see, for example, uh, battery level. Uh, you see uh, where is your car. Uh, you see if, if your car is currently towed away. If you, car, if you give the car to your family and maybe your son or your daughter is driving too fast, you get a very discreet message on your phone. You know, your car is driving currently too fast and then you can take measures. So it's all about, you know, including the car in your digital life. Two of the main themes in telecoms at the moment are AI, artificial intelligence, and of course 5G. What are you doing specifically with AI and machine learning? This is a very important topic because as you already realize, we have a lot of data from the car and we also have a lot of data from the owner of the smartphone. So artificial intelligence, what we also offer in future for the car, they will give you, uh, like you know it from Amazon or from Google, they will give you proactively, they will give you recommendations. So for example, we already know because we access your calendar. So we already know that you have tomorrow morning a meeting in Dover, but we also know that your gas level is not enough, that you reach Dover. So we proactively, artificial intelligence, will tell you with an active card on your smartphone, please take, please leave half an hour earlier uh, because you need to get gas uh, so to reach your appointment in time in Dover. And what about 5G? How will that affect the connected car? I mean, obvious, you know, the amount of data is, is increasing heavily and all the cars are online connected. So we are sending online a lot of data all the time uh, to the cloud. So uh, we are very happy to use 5G in future. Uh, currently, uh, we use 5G, 4G if there is a Wi-Fi hotspot requested in the car. 
so we, we offer this based on a 4G technology. Robert, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.